High Cancer. And the first card you have here is the Knight of Wands. The second card you have is the Three of Swords, followed by the Tower card, Wheel of Fortune, the Star card, and the Empress. Okay, I definitely think you're going to encounter some sort of hardships, confusion, third-party situations, or tower moments, but the beauty is things ultimately get better. So I almost feel like you're going to be exposed to quite a bit this month. I feel like this month comes full circle. Starting off with the Knight of Wands, this is Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo energy coming through here. This can speak of a message. This can speak of a traveler. This can speak of a journey. You may hear news abroad or news from overseas, news from a distant land. Could be family, friends, relatives. It could involve pregnancy, the high priestess is here. Some of you could be expanding the family, whether you're expecting it or not. The tower card sitting above the empress can indicate sudden manifestations that you hadn't really planned cancer may be coming through for you this month. Now the Knight of Wands is a mover, is a shaker so to speak, so I feel like it's a bit of a shape-shifting month for you. Um, I almost feel like you need to hang on for the ride though. It's going to be quite intense, especially for those dealing with a fire sign. I feel like things are developing between you very, very quickly. I also feel like there's a lot of infatuation, especially because you have the Empress card here. So there's a very strong attraction. Someone that's coming through quite... Um quite quickly into your life. I feel like um, they're going to have a very strong effect on you with the Tower card. Almost like obsession, borderline, um, really in, into each other. This is intuitive behavior. This is the two of you sinking, falling for each other in a very quick way. I definitely feel it's more love related. I do think that there's like um, a lot of passion coming in here. Um, faded circumstances and people with the star card and the wheel of fortune as well. Absolutely. But I feel with the knight of wands, this could be a movement, an opportunity of movement for some of you. I'm not sure if this is a new relationship that's coming your way, but I do see someone that's projecting a lot of desire or lust or infatuation over you. They're definitely interested is what I'm understanding here, Cancer. Now, for some of you, you're already coupled up, you're in a happy relationship, you don't give this a second thought, but for others, if you're single and you've been looking, I do believe there is someone coming in. Um, I almost feel like there's something to do with a third-party situation, possibly a lover's triangle or several options here. Now, it's interesting you have the star card and the wheel of fortune, so I'm wondering if the universe is working in mysterious ways to bring you up to two different people that will come into your life here. Now, this doesn't have to be people, it can be other priorities, Oftentimes when we see the Three of Swords, it's easy to assume that this refers to two different people coming in around you, potential cheating or um, being interested in someone else, jealousy, conflict. It's not always the case. It can show there's an internal battle going on between mind, which is the swords, and heart, which is emotions. So oftentimes I feel like this card means weighing up between your head and your heart. Um... So I think there's there's a lot of this that's going on for you this month. You're going to be weighing up what's going on in your mind and what's going on in your heart. So there's quite an intensity when it comes to emotions. But I do believe there could be several people coming in for you um, in regards to the love situation here. Now, I just want to say to you, some of them are fated to come into your life because there's a reason for them being involved in your path for some reason or another. Some are just there for a physical, a physical attraction with the Empress and the Tower card, maybe physical intimacy, maybe sex. Maybe they're not ready for something stable. They're not ready to build that tower, build a connection, build a long-term relationship with you because they're not ready. Timing could be everything with the Wheel of Fortune with this person as well. However, I do believe that there is someone around you right now, Cancer, that's destined to be in your path. You have two cards that reiterate this. Well, three, I should say. The Empress is... She, she's like a Mother Earth energy. So I feel like the universe is looking out for you. And I think this could be two distinct people. And I honestly think they're coming up. This is one person up the top and this is another person down the bottom. But look, it could absolutely refer to career as well. There could be a collaboration that falls apart because I'm seeing the dissolving of something. The conflict or the dissolving of a partnership or a relationship for some of you. But I do believe that the universe will send you someone very quickly soon after, however. So um, um, it's, it's quite an overwhelming energy. I think there's a lot of relationships or a lot of things happening for you this month. But I do believe there can be conflict or, um, or lack of certainty with a business collaboration or something that you've built from the ground up. This could be a business project. This could be your own business venture, Cancer. But something that you've built up is experiencing some sort of turbulence here. And it could come very suddenly. It could be sudden expenses. 
um, sudden people leaving the job, um, maybe relationship uh, friendships that have been formed from business relationships that are, are um, immersing themselves into a more love relationship. Maybe there's emotion that's being invested in this relationship. And when I say that, I mean that suddenly you're beginning to care for someone when you just work for them and it should strictly be a professional relationship. But you can't help but do this, Cancer. This is who you are. This is in you. This is your, your nature. This is your genetic makeup, if you want, uh, if you will. So I feel like with the Tower card, some of you are dissolving something. I do. I feel like something is going to be quite fleeting for you this month. Again, it can point to electricity and just just a really intense attraction to someone where you both feel like you're falling for each other very quickly. Again, the notion that the Knight of Wands is here can indicate that, that you know, it's almost like Cupid hits you with your arrow and the next thing you know, you're falling hard for this person. But I also think in a business partnership, you need to take caution. You need to exercise caution because things could, um, there could be certain setbacks coming up for you. They could happen very quickly and suddenly you'll feel confused about how to press forward with a certain situation here. So, you know, trust your trust your instinct, of course, your intuition, um, and you'll be able to make a better judgment when and if this tower moment does um, come up for you. It's definitely a month of drastic change, especially those that are involving another person, either in a relationship, in a business partnership, or perhaps even a friendship. This could see a friendship dissolve because A, this friend has decided to put other interests in front of your friendship or a lover has decided to put other priorities um, in front of your relationship. What I love though is that things will mend and heal. Look at these look at these cards down the bottom here. The Wheel of Fortune, Cycles, Fate, Destiny. The cycle ends and another one begins. There's an opportunity for you to be on a new cycle. Self-improvement, self-healing, absolutely. But I'm very... I'm really leaning more towards love. So I'm sorry if you came here trying to listen to your career. I definitely think for some of you there's an advertising opportunity um, or, you know, it's a presentation. It's where people are dressed well. It could be an interview, a conference, um, some sort of event coming up in, in, in career. Um, it could be somewhere you have to travel out to. Yes, I, I do think this. But I'm sorry, I'm, uh, this is probably going only to apply to those that are involved in relationships because I think it's just such a major theme for love for you. But I will be sure to explore. But look at this. I also feel like actually, maybe I spoke too soon. I feel like for some of you, there's an element of redemption. So I'm not sure if you've previously worked with someone, it didn't work out with the company, the person, maybe things fell through, maybe you left on really bad terms, or maybe you didn't have time to be um, really explain yourself on why you left or how things went down if there was some sort of incident in relation to career or work. I do feel with the star card, however, and um, in conjunction with the Wheel of Fortune, there is an opportunity to redeem yourself if something has happened. I'm not sure if there was a work romance, if there was conflict of interest, if you were actually juggling two or three jobs at the same time, um, if you were trying to be interviewed or trying to gain work with a competitor in your field. I feel like there's the element of redemption for some of you in regards to a career or a business here as well. But I definitely feel the first half of the month could be quite challenging for some of you, but absolutely you'll come into this wonderful healing energy in the bottom three cards here. So there's, there's, there's hope. Um, and, and the Wheel of Fortune points to upward cycles. So some of you are actually increasing in pay, um, actually, in, in terms of finances, based on your position. I do see that you'll either have luxurious surroundings or a more prominent position in a business sense or an advertising opportunities. This could be through mediums of print, um, movies, television, the Internet. There's a lot of different mediums here, but I like what this represents. And there is a cycle coming in with the Wheel of Fortune. I love this. I do. It almost goes to show that whatever challenges or whatever hiccups you encounter during the month, there's possibility to heal and move on from them. So it's not the end, Cancer. Absolutely not. There is an opportunity for you to rectify anything that has gone wrong for you or anything you feel you need to concentrate on. For some of you, there's a there's a um, there's something you're very drawn to because you're very appealed to it, and I don't know if this is an idea, um, if this is a hobby, if this is a sort of career you want to go into, or a sort of relationship you want to have, or even a person. But I almost feel like you need to do more exploring about this person or about this idea because I think you're very attracted or drawn to something here. 
but I'm wondering if you need to give it more time. Sometimes the Knight of Wands is very impulsive. And I can see that you're physically and spiritually being drawn to someone. Yes, absolutely. But I'm wondering if you still need to give it time with the Star card. You still need to give it um, alignment. You still need to have patience and you still need to wait. You know, there's something about maybe there's a – because the Wheel of Fortune almost looks like a clock. And the fact that it's in the same column as the Knight of Wands, I'm wondering if there's something to do with timing. Because this is impulsive, not very thought, not very well thoughtly through, um, not very well thought through. Apologies. And then you have the Wheel of Fortune, and it almost looks like a clock or something to do around timing. So for some of you, there's something to do with you need to give it more time or time is 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 imperative in whatever this is, in funding this dream or creating this goal or working towards this person or entering into a relationship with this person. However, this applies to you in your life, Cancer. There's something to do with timing here. Timing of a new person coming into your life. It's a faded person. It's destiny. It's fate. You may feel like it's chance, or call it what you will, um, predestination, chance, luck, opportunity. But, you know, I really feel like looking at these cards, it is predestined. This person, this venture, this opportunity that can bring you stardom, that can bring you healing, that can bring you prominence, that can bring you that feeling of butterflies in your stomach is destined for you sometime or another during this month. It can be major and cause major disruptions to your day-to-day -day life, yes, but it can be minor. It can be something very fleeting as well because the star card is here. So I do think there's a release of emotion. There's an outpour of emotion. I almost feel like when it rains, it pours, and I think definitely in regards to love, there's different people around you. I do, but one or maybe two of them are faded for you for different reasons. But with the star card, this is also advertising opportunity, fame, recognition, uh, being in the spotlight, um, things aligning, astrological compatibility with someone you're, you're dealing with, maybe he cancer as well with the star card. Um, it can be an Aquarius coming through, absolutely, or Aquarian energy. It's, it's self-improvement, it's self-healing, self-love, it's knowledge, it's intellect. It's being equipped with the right um, knowledge and wisdom to make good judgment calls around you. So I like that this is around you with the star card. I really do. Um, for some of you, I feel like you're possibly meeting someone famous or, or being interviewed or working with someone that is in the public eye. Um, it could be a lover. It could be an associate. It could be you interviewing someone or speaking to someone online as well. For some of you, there's a very strong online attraction that's happening here and things will move very quickly. Um, the Empress is here. I also feel like it's a card of beauty. So whether you're a female or a male watching this, I feel like there's, there's things you'll be doing to improve your inner and your outer beauty. So this is looking after your mind, your body and your soul, which is very nice with the Empress. I see her as an earth sign. Many see her as a fire sign. So please interpret as you see fit. The Empress does bring manifestations into our life here. Um, possibly pregnancy for some of you. Yes. Um, heightened sense of spirituality and intuitive behavior. Yes. The 12 stars on her crown represent the 12 signs of the zodiac paired it with the star card. There's very much an emphasis on mysticism or the esoteric arts or astrology here for you. Um, something to do with compatibility here as well for some. Yes. With the empress card. But I do see that, you know, there's quite, it's quite a luxurious, it's growth and development in a luxury sense. I think you're enjoying a lot of physical pleasures this month. I do. And it very well could be in relation to relationships and sex and intimacy, yes. But in, in regards to career or finance, be careful because you may be overspending here with the Empress and overindulging um, in suddenly something you know you can't afford. So just be mindful of that, Cancer. But look at a month of love. Possibly third-party situations, maybe a little bit of deceit here as well. Let's have a look and see what's coming up for you, Cancer. Options in love.
Um, not being sure whether to choose between your head and your heart. So this is quite intense here. Let's have a look. Okay, Seven of Cups. Definitely a lot of questions that need answering around a relationship here. For some of you, this could be with a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio with the Seven of Cups. It's quite a scattered energy. I feel like um, someone's not being very direct or very open with what they're wanting in the future. You eventually will find stability because at the end of this spread, you can see you've got the King of Cups. So if you are dealing with another water sign, there is there's questions now, but throughout the month, I definitely feel you're going through some sort of journey with this person where you ultimately will reach some sort of conclusion or absolutism with them with the king of cups but look the seven of cups is choosing what you want it is it is quite a surprising um element so i feel like a lot of you will be surprised in a lot of ways when it comes to love now for some of you it's bad surprises Maybe heartache, maybe conflict, maybe realizing someone you're interested in has someone else. Maybe it's suddenly someone else has come into the picture for you and you're feeling guilty about partaking in an innocent flirtation or maybe even an affair. So for some of you, it's not the most pleasant news, I have to admit. Whilst for others, it will be quite positive. Um, the star card is here, the wheel of fortune. I feel like for others, it will be... Um, very beautiful news with the Empress, news of pregnancy, um, you know, unexpected surprises, uh, of timing, of healing as well in a relationship, of feeling like you're finally on the same page, the same frequency as someone. But for others, there's the notion of walking away from a situation, the Six of Swords. Either you're improving on yourself taking time away, wanting independence from someone. It could be an air sign. For some of you, you're moving away from an air sign here. Maybe they're growing distant. Maybe they're moving away, they're relocating. There's some sort of distance between the two of you. So this could be translated into distance in words, meaning communication isn't as frequent or, or isn't as enriching as usual, or that the two of you are actually moving away because of geographical distance. Now, this is particularly in the case for those that have an online connection as well or a long-distance relationship. Um, some of you are meeting up with someone, though, that you've been wanting to see for quite some time with the Six of Swords here. It doesn't necessarily have to be an air sign. It can be any sign that, you're de that you may be dealing with here. King of Pentacles, Taurian energy, those that are dealing with a Taurus, an earth sign, I like what I see for those that are dealing with an earth sign. I think there's a bit of back and forth coming up, but ultimately, look at this. They're a very beautiful couple, these two. So regardless if you're same-sex, opposite-sex relationship, or if you're gender fluid, whatever it is that's going on with you, the King of Pentacles paired with the, the Empress. This is the power couple here, uh, Cancer. This is hands down physical attraction, intimacy, love, passion, commitment, stability. For some of you, it's all happening. Look at that. It's definitely all happening. This is so exciting. This is like people being envious of you. And I said envy. Envy or jealousy. Did I? Um, but look, I, I, this is people being jealous and envious of what you have together. Meaning it's so transparent that people from the complete outside of this relationship that aren't involved in any way, shape or form can actually see how the two of you are together. And they're wanting that. So this is powerful. This definitely speaks volumes of the kind of connection you have going on for some of you. It doesn't necessarily have to be with an earth sign as well. I don't always like to pigeonhole it to the signs, but I, I want to try and be specific for those out there dealing with different signs. So I'm hoping this helps. But look, you have the three of pentacles as well here. So negotiation and sacrifice. Some of you that have been hurt by a third party situation um, or another person coming in with whichever sign you're dealing with, a male, female, under whichever element, this person is going to want to talk. Whether they want to heal or they want closure to put it behind them with like the timing of life, I feel as though some of them might want you back. Are they moving towards stability because they're moving towards hope that they can convince you that they've changed or convinced you that they want to heal or convince you of how beautiful you are and how good you look and how much they want to be with you? So just be careful here that the person is legitimate. Do you trust them again, Cancer? How do you know this won't happen again? You can give them a second chance. It's all about cycles here. You know, it's in your, the ball is in your court to give them that second chance. But the three of pentacles with the three of swords, there's definitely someone that wants to talk. There is, it's also a card of you going on a lot of dates with different people for those that are single. Um, possibly people you meet through career, money, finance, wealth, or business. It could be an introduction here. 
and it is someone with a little bit someone that's quite mature um very established has a sense of establishment have a lot of things going for them professionally there's a lot of commitment to money or finances that's coming in around them so i think this is something they've been concentrating on lately also with the two of pentacles there's definitely the notion of different people around you here you know this is the element of choice although one beats the other one one is definitely winning your heart more than the other one is a little bit heavier heavier why heavier in connection heavier in it's too burdensome, heavier in there's too much baggage associated with this person that you can't take on at this point in time. Um, is it distance? Is one a little bit more distant? The ship is here. Is one further away? Does that make you change your mind a little bit here, Cancer? Does the distance do something for you here? Um, you know, these questions you have to ask yourself. But there is the element of choice for some of you with the two of uh, pentacles, absolutely. Mm hmm... You know, just be careful here in this corner if this person has caused you deceit or this person has, it's either they've got someone else around them or there is another priority um, and they're trying to juggle. It's a bit of a juggling act. Now, this could be you as well, just because it's earth energy. It could be you trying to juggle the two creative pursuits in a relationship, etc. There's also a notion of a bit of back and forth here. Some of you are traveling out a lot you're trying to find out or figure out the logistics of a relationship, the finances, how you can make a long distance relationship work in the long run. Ultimately, you will come to a conclusion or an answer of some kind because the King of Cups is here um, and he sits very poised on his stone slab against the murky, turbulent waters. So I feel like you're trying to make the best out of a certain situation here when it comes to love. I also feel like you're falling for someone. Some of you are definitely falling you you're the king of cups your emotions are strong you're falling with you're falling for to uh for someone whether or not you're aware they're good for you or not whether you're aware of what they've done to you in the past or if they've caused you any pain or whether you you don't really know them very well but you're falling and it's love it's not attraction for some of you it is an attraction but for some this is king of cups deals with hands down legitimate acknowledgement of i'm falling deeply in love for this person is what i'm seeing um, I will leave it at that, though, for love and continue now on with another six cards in relation to your career and creative pursuits as well. Okay, the Nine of Swords, the Three, Three of Cups, Nine of Wands, the Sun, the Fool, and the Hanged Man. Okay, I feel like you're on alert or someone's on alert because there's another added um, a business partner or person coming in. The fool is someone new that's coming in. Suddenly it creates another person. It adds another idea, another opinion or adds another something to a, a collaborative project here. So if you're involved in a team environment here, suddenly someone is going to come in in the workplace, someone new. The Three of Cups, Three of Swords, the Tower. This is someone you coming in that's going to shake up things in regards to your career and your business here. This could be an investor. This could be a client. This could be a colleague that comes in. But I'm seeing that you're going to be very unsure about this person. You could not want to take a chance with them or you may not like the way they do things, uh, their work ethic, just their personality, who they are. Um... There's also a bit of jealousy coming in. I'm not sure if this is towards another person or this is another person towards you. But I do see there's a bit of jealousy because of someone else coming into the picture here. Perhaps a little bit uninvited or, or they've been invited. But I feel for some of you that's going to create a bit of shaky ground. And in fact, I'm not sure if this is like a, a, a new boss um, or a new colleague or a new superior. But someone's going to come in and sort of take down your plans. Um... Or will want to change up what you had going. And I almost feel like it's the notion where you have to start from scratch again, Cancer. That you have to start off again. And there's things you'll have to tweak and change. Because this person will not be happy with it for whatever reason. Or you might not be happy with what they're doing for whatever reason. And I see that this potentially with the Tower card. this The plans or the visions or the, the um, accomplishments that have been carried out thus far will actually be taken down or dissolved in some way because of another person which will be quite stressful for you 
I'm not sure if this person is actually getting to you, but their mentality, the way they say things to you, I see you're hung up on their words, uh, Cancer. I see that there might be something you want to fully express to them with the outpour of the star card, but you won't do it as yet. And if you do, it could lead to somewhat chaotic circumstances. So a bit of imbalance going on around career or work, I think, for some reason, for some of you. Um, you're feeling in, more introverted than usual, so you feel like maybe you can't fully express yourself. Um, or maybe you're stuck, you, you can't exactly do it because maybe they're the big, they're the boss's boss and there's no way that you could potentially tell them how you really think about them or how you really feel about their plans for this project. Um, there's a notion of feeling quite introverted with the hanged man, yes. But again, you know, it's you making the best out of a situation here and getting some sort of inspiration to move forward. <clears throat> Because the Nine of Wands is this protective energy. For those that have some sort of creative pursuit or talent or hobby or business with the Star card, there's something that you're going to need to legally protect here is what I'm seeing because someone could steal your idea or not so much steal it but imitate it is what I'm seeing. Um, so it might, you know, you're, you're a little bit hesitant, but it might be best to patent or copyright or do some sort of um, protection here in regards to what you're going through in a business project or an idea or anything of this kind um, in the upcoming month. The Sun card is here, which is really good. Um, this is growth and development, which is very nice. Um, purity. Sincerity is coming into play here. Uh, with the Sun card. This could be an Aries. You do have Aries here. Sagittarius or Leo coming through with this sort of element. I think it might be the King of Wands, uh, the Knight of Wands that's come up here. Fire, fire sign who's being impulsive around you at work potentially. Maybe they're the person you need to be a little bit clear of. But in a general sense, the Sun card is elimination. Um, it is a card of learning. I feel like you're learning something new. Um, at work. I'm not sure if it's learning to be more creative, um, learning about advertising or exposure, marketing, learning about travels, tourism, you know, logistics of, of a company. But there's definitely growth and development with the Sun card here. You're also um, creating new things. But again, there may be setbacks. The Fool card in conjunction with the Knight of Wands, some of you are traveling for the purpose of work. Um, and I almost feel like because you'll be traveling for work, you might be missing out on building relationships with colleagues um, or you may be missing out on an auspicious period of work. So I feel like travel, there might be some sort of commuting that needs to take place. But as a result, you'll be a little bit capricious for one reason or another to travel um, or, or to move or to, to look after this department temporarily. Uh, but I don't think it's long term. I think it could just be temporary with the full card because he doesn't really stay in one place for too long. Um, with the full energy. But for some of you, I feel like you're going to confront this head on, whatever this is. The white rose, you're surrendering. Surrendering with peace, honesty, telling them what you really think. So eventually it will come out and you're going to wave the white flag, so to speak. He's holding a white rose. So I feel for some of you, you're going to, it's like you want, you're going to get some sort of truce in the career or workspace, especially if you are dealing with an Aries here, because you do have the hangman on, although, as I said, things could be introverted, eventually you will come back around and be upright. But I think for now, what's happening around you is that you're a little bit imbalanced. So I'm wondering what's happening around you here that makes you feel imbalanced with the hanged man. It's also dread, you know, it's a bit of dread coming through with the hangman, especially with the nine of swords. I'm not sure what it is that you're dreading. You're dreading to talk to someone or you're dreading to put forward your opinions here, Cancer, possibly. But I think you're coming into prominence. This is praise and prominence, um, you know, elevation with the empress. So don't don't be fearful of telling, or, you know, sharing these brilliant ideas that you may have. Um, 
And again, I think there's a bit of jealousy coming into play where eventually you'll just say, right, okay, you know what? I'm aware you're doing this to me. I'm aware you're being this kind of person to me. I don't want this. This is not what I'm after. I'm here for the purposes of X, Y, and Z. I'm hoping that we can come to an agreement. You know, I feel like you just, you're finally going to sit them down and say, this is what I really think. And just be honest, you know, there's a quite a, um, quite an honorary movement here. Um, that you might um, put forward to someone else. But look, I will leave it at that, Cancer. I hope this reading has been insightful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely month and we'll be chatting again soon. Bye for now. Thanks, Cancer.